Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk about Signable. I'm going to uh, tell you more about Signable, what it is, uh, about the pricing and about uh, also some other programs that you can compare them to. But let's start with Signable. Signable uh, it takes a second to send the document straight to your client inbox. Signable will send the signer an email with a unique link where they can uh, click and add their electronic uh, signature to the document. No reg registration is needed by the signer and then uh, they can sign it on uh, any device. So they can even sign it on Android uh, phone or iOS phone and also, also use a web browser. It's made for basically everybody. If you're a bigger company or small business, freelancer or individual, Signable can handle uh, your needs. For example, uh, for pricing, let's choose the best Signable plan for you. Pay as you go, which is a one, uh, uh, it can be uh, switched to <laughs> even the euros, but at the moment I have it switched on 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 uh, uh, gbp but let's go with euros unlimited templates unlimited users but it's quite expensive for small businesses it's uh, 50 and also you can go with annual plan where you can get uh, two months free for example unlimited templates users brand email signing uh, signing and api access so if you're interested uh, in integrations with uh, Signable, this will help you. Medium businesses, large businesses and corporate. Basically, uh, that's 21. In my language is Libris, but uh, I'm not sure how is it in English. So let's just proceed. I believe they are offering it also in uh, um also in euros and uh also usd so that's for the pricing methods for medium business is obviously twice as much but if you go annually you will be able to save more money and as you can see the support guy on the bottom right corner it's already here to help you so how you can proceed to signable because most of you will do it like a one time job or when you need to sign something and uh, if you need to sign uh, more obviously <clears throat> you can go and proceed with pricing once you check all your options so uh, when you go with the register you just uh, give them your basic informations which is uh, your name email company name company size you don't have to go with telephone number and then your password so very nice thing and very good thing is they are not asking uh, your uh, credit card information and that's really really nice well anyhow let's go and when you go to signable you are able to you are able to see our workspace on the left side, as you can see, we have a dashboard with uh, all in progress envelopes. We have library, we have templates. At the moment, there's only one. And uh, that's on what I'm going to show you how it's all done, where you should click and how it works. Then contact, you can always add a new contact. Let's go with Alexa. Bright uh, and use this email and we can add a contact you can see it's already two of us then we have a branding uh, you can go with the logo of yours also uh, signatures users and teams at the moment it's only me but uh, if you are working in an environment of uh, more people feel free to uh, add more of them so they can also send uh, for example the invoices 
in your name for your company then my profile as you can see my name uh, my email also password and you can check the language company settings preferences api and webhooks that's what you are need to add a epic key if you are interested in in in, in integrations at the moment you can uh, straight away integrate it with dropbox and google drive i see that uh, kind of nice so you can go and try to at least google drive i see as a most val uh, valuable option in here to connect it and then uh, obviously you can use uh, let's check zapier.com and go with uh, sign able if if they're yeah they are not uh they are not into sign able integrations so pretty much you have to go with either dropbox or google drive as integrations well enough of that let's create a new envelope straight away uh all documents and was your first envelope pdf word excel okay but we are going to use uh, this sample contract. On the bottom right corner, we have the next step. This is very basic one, but uh, very good for uh, me to show you how it's all done. Set up your parties, uh, party one. Uh, we can go with a party name. We can add uh, myself as a party and sample contract into the party. So as you can see, first one, we select it. You can basically check up the life cycle of your work here. Select your documents. Uh, second one is um, uh, setup two is add your parties and third is add your fields. So let's go with the next step. Name of a sender. Let's go with MK. Next step, add fields here. You can add more of them. For example, you can uh, check where it should be all moved. Or, or you can uh, basically get rid of some fields if you don't like them. Always very nice preview button. Yeah, no thanks. So you see where it's all going to be need, uh, filled in. And you can always add a party. Uh, let's check. They are not offering the names that uh, we are already added. Like this, and we can add party. For this, you can add her party and uh, her fields and that's what it's really 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 getting complicated and i'm not really uh yeah i'm not really uh eager to any of those but we send the date now we can sign the envelope we go into sign the envelope and yeah it's too big let's go like this name as a signer on the left side you see your procedure matt king okay next full address let's go street one rome next telephone number you can basically made it up you can go with either contact preference which is mail or post let's go with email next post we don't have to do that also uh, proof of id that's optional but in this preview uh it's already in there so uh let's let's go and put some jpeg of a wolf there confirm and add your signature that's why we are here basically we want to sign the papers as quickly as possible we can draw sign 
uh, type signature and uh, you will see how it will look but the problem is you can't really interpret it or you can upload the signature for this uh, way it's really nice to draw it so you can go like this and confirm now the date is 18th of February confirm and you can submit the document very easy wasn't that easy yeah at the moment we are running the 14 day trial that's really nice to know and uh, let's check the speed of uh, let's check the speed of them actually um, sending uh, the emails to Alexa which is the second account that I uh, uh, that I proceed with if we have the email here yes as you can see at the moment Matt King sent you a message let's go with website but that's uh yeah this is not the what i was waiting for it was from previous videos so uh we still have to wait actually and that's not very convenient if someone is uh waiting for your waiting for your emails and it's not in the spam anyways we will go through and uh, check other signing tools like OptiSign or Eversign uh, DigiSign uh, more of them so stay in touch and I promise you won't be disappointed so up until then if you have more questions about Signable please leave them underneath this video thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video have a great day